What's going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today we're talking everything weightlifting shoes. So I get a lot of questions about weightlifting shoes on my vlog, training, and review content, so I wanted to put together a guide slash video and discuss all these questions that I'm regularly asked. This way, if you are thinking about investing, hopefully I can help clear the air on whether buying a pair of weightlifting shoes is worth it for you. Now, if you are interested in anything specific, I have timestamped all of the sections we're gonna discuss below, so check those out. But without further ado, let's dive into our first question, which is, what are weightlifting shoes? In short, weightlifting shoes are supportive pieces of strength gear that are intended to support performance in the sport of weightlifting and in various lifting settings. So across the board with all weightlifting shoes, you're gonna generally see three common construction traits. This includes number one, very firm outsole. So every outsole on a weightlifting shoe will be very firm and this is to provide you with more ground feedback and stability when catching weight and moving weight. The second thing that you'll generally see is midfoot security and support. So as you can see, all these models have straps some models have two straps, some have one, some have BOA lacing systems, similar to the Innovate models and Adidas models out there. And this is to help the foot or prevent the foot from sliding forward because our third construction trait is an elevated heel. And this is really what makes a weightlifting shoe a weightlifting shoe. So we're elevating the heel with this firm TPU plastic. Some shoes use wood, but generally the common norm is TPU. It's very durable, very firm and very stable. And this is gonna put the heel at an elevated position then the midfoot security helps limit that foot from sliding forward and jamming the toes. So in short, weightlifting shoes are pieces of equipment designed to support performance and mechanics in various lifting settings. The next question we're gonna to touch on is why wear weightlifting shoes? So the why is always going to be reciprocal with the intent and how you plan to use them and your overall goals and needs. So for example, a weightlifter will use weightlifting shoes to support their snatch and clean and jerk performance and also a lot of the accessories they're gonna be using to improve their performance because those accessories are gonna feed into their main competition movements, AKA the snatch and clean and jerk. A power lifter may use weightlifting shoes to support their squat performance because for their comp, it is squat, bench, and deadlift. And if their mechanics feed better with weightlifting shoes, then they'll generally use weightlifting shoes to support their performance. Now for the recreational and more general lifter, they'll usually use weightlifting shoes for supporting their squat performance, using them in accessories where a heel wedge is desired. And also weightlifting shoes can be used when performing exercises on machines like the hack squat and leg press where deeper ranges of motion are desired and machines don't necessarily line up well with your body when not wearing weightlifting shoes. But this all brings us to our next question of, okay, we understand the why, but like what do weightlifting shoes physically do for our performance and lifting? So when wearing weightlifting shoes, we're gonna be putting our foot into a plantar flexed position. This is extension at the ankle. So we're starting with the toes below the height of the heel. So the heel will be sitting higher in relation to the toes. Now, what does this physically do for lifting with lower body movements? Well, when we're squatting and we're going into hip flexion, what ends up happening is as we plantar flex and begin in a plantar flex position, we feed better into dorsiflexion. So this is flexion at the ankle. So we allow those knees to generally track further over the toes while maintaining more upright torso positioning. So let's say for the back squat, what will generally end up happening when wearing a weightlifting shoe is we're able to achieve greater ranges of motion while maintaining more upright torso positioning, which can then help with our performance output and our balance while moving various loads. Because if you are built in a means that doesn't feed so well into deeper dorsiflexion while getting depth and maintaining a more upright torso positioning, starting with a weightlifting shoe on the foot in a plantar flex position, we can feed a tad bit better into dorsiflexion. We do not increase dorsiflexion or range of motion at the ankle. We're just putting ourselves into a positioning that feeds better into the task at hand, which is allowing those knees to track while balancing the load and the squat variation we are performing. And this is a super important concept to understand when it comes to what weightlifting shoes do, because once you can understand how your heel height impacts your overall abilities to maintain certain positionings while achieving greater ranges of motion at the hip, you can then be more dynamic with your weightlifting shoes use. And this is why we'll see folks, and this includes myself, use weightlifting shoes for things like hack squats 
and leg press, where we are not able to necessarily get the range of motion we want without wearing an elevated heel and getting that level of dorsiflexion. So by putting our foot into once again, a plantar flex position, we're creating an environment that feeds better into dorsiflexion and which reciprocates to our goals and needs of the movement we are trying to perform. So another common question that I get on weightlifting shoe review videos is, who should wear weightlifting shoes? Should a beginner invest? Should just the recreational lifter invest in a pair? And some lifters say, no, you don't need them. It's a waste of money. But to be honest, I don't think it's that black and white. And I think there's a lot of context missing if you're just a yes or no kind of person when answering this question. Because with a weightlifting shoe, it really comes down to what's gonna help support your performance. I compare them to like soccer cleats on a soccer field. You're not always going to wear them every time you go out and play soccer. However, in certain contexts, they can help support and boost performance when we are understanding what they're going to do for our lifting mechanics. So let's say we're working with a beginning lifter because another common question I get is, should beginners wear weightlifting shoes? If I have them using a heel wedge to help them understand what it's like to have those knees track forward while balancing various loads, then that's essentially what a weightlifting shoe is doing. So in that context, it could be useful for that beginner to just have a pair on hand when they have contextual needs for their use. So that all being said, if we wanted to create a list of lifters and athletes who could benefit with weightlifting shoes, it would be weightlifting athletes, powerlifting athletes, lifters that are training and they need a heel wedge under their foot, and then also lifters who need a pair of weightlifting shoes to position themselves slightly better on machines when range of motion is a goal and they cannot achieve that range of motion without some form of heel wedge. So there's a lot of different contextual layers here as to who should actually wear weightlifting shoes. To be completely honest and in my coaching opinion, you can generally find pairs for less than $100 and investing in a pair where you're only wearing them for certain contexts they'll last a while and it's just nice to have them on deck when your performance calls for them. And do note, I'm not just trying to sell you weightlifting shoes. Like I truly don't care if you wear a pair of weightlifting shoes or not. I'm just trying to help make it understood that a lot of context is needed when wearing weightlifting shoes and supporting performance. Now, let's say you do decide to invest in a pair of weightlifting shoes and your next question is, is how should they fit? Because that's a common question I receive on videos too. So unlike cross training shoes and more general wear shoes, I do think having a weightlifting shoe fit a little bit more snug is not necessarily a bad thing. What I usually recommend is about a half inch in the toe of room is usually a good bet to allow you to have enough room to display the toes, but then also it having it not so tight to where your toes feel like they're screaming every single time you're wearing your shoes. Because if you're swimming around in your pair of weightlifting shoes, then you'll be more likely to just slide around and jam the toes when catching weight, etc. especially if you do have any form of jump in your weightlifting movements. So that is something to think about. So when we're talking about how weightlifting shoes should fit, I always recommend having about a half inch of room up in the toe to walk that line between not being too tight, but also giving you enough room to where your toes are not screaming. Now I do note that can vary a little bit based on your foot anatomy and what you prefer, but that's usually my rule of thumb for how weightlifting shoes should fit. So stemming off of the question of how should my weightlifting shoes fit? Another common question is where can I buy them? Because Trust me, it is frustrating as heck when you are trying to get your sizing just right and there is literally nowhere to try them on. But you can try a couple of places. So this is what I would recommend doing because this is what I did when I was first looking for my pairs is number one, looking at strength sports gyms in your area and calling them to see if they have any equipment available to try on. You can also try places like Dick's. Sometimes Dick's will carry certain pairs of weightlifting shoes. Again, I would highly suggest calling before you physically drive to the location because not every Dick's has the same inventory in store. And then you can also just try more specialty oriented stores that carry lifting equipment. Sometimes they'll carry lifting shoes, but not every retail outlet carries weightlifting shoes and it's frustrating to say the least. And I think that has to do with companies not making that big of inventory with weightlifting shoes. And I think that's also why the most popular models tend to sell out so fast is because they don't physically make enough to physically send to certain stores, let alone even have enough stock on the site for after major launches. But where you can buy them, those are my tips for you. You might not be able to find any in store and it is frustrating, but if you check out enough reviews and look at what people have given feedback on when it comes to product pages, you can usually get a good idea of how they fit. And then also you can always just hit me in the comments or ask away and send me messages via Instagram DM if you have any questions with certain models and how they fit. 
All right, guys, that wraps up this weightlifting shoe guide. Hopefully I was able to answer some of the questions you might have had about weightlifting shoes. I did write a pretty massive article on this topic. It is linked down below. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, drop a subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.